welcome to a new year to all my subscribers you are welcome to 2024 and if it's your first time on my channel you are always welcome so in today's video we'll be making this lovely peplum bustier top with a flay double step flay and guys without wasting much of our time let's dive into this video right there i have my drafting paper with some horizontal line already drew on the paper and i'll be explaining everything to us the full length of the top is 24 then the half length is 16 inches and you can see right there i minus 5 inches from the shoulder which is going to be for the off shoulder parts i minus it then coming down to 18 inches which is for my chest line to turn my bust point to 13 on the bust and the 16 inches which is for my half length for boy i made it 17 inches there since i'm going to be joining up and also joining it down so now from the center parts i max i came in deeply four inches on all the points and i marked it together i connected the points together then on the half length i came in out in and out one inches on both sides and on the under bust out i came 1.5 and inwardly i came just one inch you can see there then i connected the lines together with the half length i have downward and on the bust point i came downward about just 0 0.75 0 0.75 and i connected the line carefully to the under bust with my french curve you can see exactly what i'm doing right there and on the chest line to the other side i came 0 0.5 and inwardly i came one inch 0 0.5 to the side i marked ch and inwardly one inch then on the bust point i came up again 0 0.5 and i connected the lines at the point i have on the chest line i connected it to the bust point remember i didn't just connect on the line of the bust point i came up 0 0.5 then upwardly i just drew the lines i have on the chest line i drew it up to meet the beginning like the starting point of the paper and guys i went ahead to blend these points together the part that is curved i blended everything together then now we are going to be taking the divided by four of our bust circumference then on the chest line i just divided what i have for the circumference of the bust i divided it by four and i marked it there after I am done marking, I also measure what I have for the dart. Since I'm going to be cutting the dart off, I replaced it and I added 2 inches allowance. Guys, 2 inches allowance because there's going to be a lot of joining, so I added 2 inches. Then on the underbust, which is the UB there, I divided the circumference of my underbust by 4. I marked it there. I also went ahead and marked what I have as the dart. I replaced and added 2 inches allowance together with it. So when I was marking the neck and the shoulder, I didn't know the camera was, was off, so I had to just place and explain very well. So we stopped at the half length. I also divided the circumference of my half length by four. I replaced what I, I marked it, I replaced what I have on the dots. I added it with extra inches allowance. Then for the neck, I just placed my tape rule back on the paper the way when I started starting from the starting point. Then for the neck, I just came down about two inches. Remember, we already have five inches off from the shoulder then plus the two inches is going to be seven inches which i'm okay with it is based on preference if you want your off shoulder to be down you can bring it to eight inches also to get for the ammo so after the dart i have on the neck part the upper part i i measured about two inches just two inches i marked it then from that mark i connected it straight to the c h which is the chest line I connected and that's the part i just removed now and i went ahead to just cut out everything i have you can see exactly how i cut out the dots just cutting out all the places i had marked initially so with this the front part is set i just went ahead to cut it out on my main fabric and here is the fabric i've cut it as you can see i left some space there then for the center part, I folded my fabric in two. Remember when I was cutting this paper, it just single, not unfold. But to cut the center part, your fabric must be unfold. And you can see perfectly how I'm cutting it. My fabric there is unfold. And guys, this is the center part of the front. And the other side, the two sides remain for the front. You can see rightly everything perfectly cut out there. 
can see the paper drafts you can see the fabric what we have you can see the two side we have for the front so we are going to keep this aside and proceed to cut out for the back part then for the back i have my fabric now folded in two and you can see some lines already on the fabric this is just replication of the lines i have on the paper fold and this is optional you can just leave it just continue with the next thing i'm going to be doing then on the center part i came in widely about one inch one inch don't forget guys and this one inch is going to be for my zipper allowance and i just went ahead to fold it inward to hide it and i secured that with pin and from there i came inwardly four inches exactly the way i did for the front part and on the half length which is the edge i marked there i came in i just marked about one inch on both side one inch on both side reach the under bust then on the starting point of the fabric I just connected it slantly to meet up with the line that is coming from the half length. Okay, so this line is going to be the part where I'm going to be holding up the that part for the back area of the dress. And then I will proceed now for the to mark out the bust part. My bust measurement divide by four. I mark it and I replicate the that. I marked it and also added about two inches allowance exactly the way i did for the front part i also did this to the half length and the under bust then for the neck on the back part remember for the front i came down about seven inches but yeah i'm just coming down six inches so minus the five i already have minus initially so i just came down on the center parts with one inch then i slanted it i did the same thing i did to get the ammo for the front i did it at the back and i after doing that i went ahead to cut out all the parts i have okay now i went ahead to cut out everything i have and this cutting out of the dart part is basically optional you can decide to just leave it and make your fabric plain like that then when you are holding it maybe when you are stitching it together you just hold it together but you can decide to also cut it the way i did then the next thing we are going to be doing is to cut out the sleeve parts and i have another fabric here and this time i'm going to be cutting out both both sleeve at a time and i have the fabric for the idea for you can see exactly what i have there on the table and again i didn't know the camera was off guys so i have to just explain this what i did before getting this so i tried to use another method by cutting out the normal basic sleeve then converting it to an off shoulder sleeve so guys we know how to cut basic sleeve just go ahead and cut it okay after i marked the desired measure the length of the sleeve then on the upper part i got that horizontal part about five inches and i slanted it with seven inches okay so the seven inches is going to be the part that we enter into the ammo of the ammo of the blouse and you can see now i have it already cut out the for both sleeve then at this point we're basically done cutting out the upper parts and i went ahead to cut out the lining and down there is the lining i'm going to be using which is black in color and i went ahead to cut out everything i had cut on the main fabric i cut it out on the lining and guys we are going to proceed now by cutting out the part the, the breast part for the front parts then i'm going to be starting from the center parts remember the center is on fold i also make the part the wording to be on fold and this wording i'm using is not that over thick and not over soft wording it's just in between and then from the upper part of the mark i came down about one inch the line i didn't start from the from the neck no i came down down to the under bust and that is the under bust i folded and i just used my pen to trace out the side like this and i went ahead to cut it out and this is just basically on how to cut for wadding Then for the center, I just wanted to have a sweet tart neck. I came down about 0.5 and I cuff it. You can see how it is now. Then I'm placing it straight on the fabric. You can see where it is. Now, remember I said I didn't start from beginning and that's why it's standing like that. So on the wrong side of the fabric, I'm marking out the half length so that I'm going to know exactly where this wadding is going to be placed. 
you can see the lining we'll proceed again and cut the other side of the wadding for the breast pad then i'm going to be placing the paper again on it and i also traced out exactly the way i did for the center of the bustier i placed the paper on it and i'm also going to mark it out with the pen okay after i was done marking out for this side then to get the other side the how wide is going to be because hall is not going to occupy the whole side of the bust here so i just marked about three inches and that's what i did again i didn't know the camera was off guys so what i just did is to place the tape right the tape on about three inches marked and i cuff it to join each other on the side and you can see now what i have for the side and the center everything so there's no big deal for the other side just after getting the cuff using your paper draft then to the side you can use about 2.5 or 3 inches to get the curve connect the lines together and cut it and guys we are going to keep this now so the next thing we are going to do is to cut out the flake okay right on the screen i'm going to be giving us how to calculate the normal way to cut out your flake especially what to cut in this at the center okay now but for the length remember i said the length is 24 and half length we already have 16 so the remaining i'm going to be placing it to cut the flay so if we remove 16 from 24 we are going to be having so we are going to be having 8 inches for the length of the flay so i first checked if what i have folded is i can get about 8 inches or 9 inches because of the folding so i have the 9 inches then on the center of it I divided what my the circumference of my waist measurement by four and i also added about eight inches then that is what i use and mark that center point and from there i just take it down nine inches all around and i cut it out you can see exactly what i have and this is going to be the first layer of the of the peplum remember i'm going to be putting two layers for this peplum then the second one is going to have more open and closed gathers on it okay so the difference between the first one this second peplum is that the first one is more lengthy i wish we use about nine inches but for this one we are going to be using six inches and is more lengthier than the first one because this is the one that is going to be on the on top and the gathers is much okay so that makes the length to be more than the first layer of the peplum we cut so you can see exactly i cut the first part i placed it on the second fabric in another fabric and also cut throughout after that i will cut it out on the lining and i will also cut it out on this paper stain so let's get the sewing part we're starting from the front part and i have the wadding already placed correctly on the fabric and i will secure it down with me then i'll take it exactly the way you're seeing now i'll take it to stitching machine and stitch it together from the side then making the right the side that is that has a kind of gum face the wrong side of the fabric you can put an emmy gum in between the fabric and the wadding and this is what i have after i was done stitching it together i just trim off some of the excesses i have on this side and now i'm going to be joining the parts together you can see the way i placed it then i'll place the other side again i'll go ahead and stitch it together and this is exactly what i stitch together and guys this is very advisable when you are sewing this kind of fabric put a paper stain or clothes stain on the main fabric before you place your wadding it makes your fabric strong and more structure and guys i did the same thing i have i did uh, I did it also on the lining and this is what I have and I closed it up with lining making the right side face the right side you can see I closed the upper parts just leaving the down parts and the ammo area opened and that's where I turned it out inside out from and now I need a thorough ironing I was meant to have ironed before I would join with the lining but nevertheless I'm going to iron it perfectly then for the back parts I have the fabric and the lining already again i'll first stitch the fabric together first you can see it each of the side i stitch it together remember there's going to be zipper the in between the parts then i did the same thing on the fabric on the lining and i, I stitch the lining again on the together with the main fabric 
from the neck the side leaving us the down and the arm alone opened and you can see i turned it inside out you can see perfectly what i have and right now again i still need to iron it perfectly so i did the same thing for both sides and this is what i have after i was done stitching for both sides and also ironing then before i joined together i went ahead to mark out the zipper parts the zipper parts i left about just one inch ish and i'm marking it out exactly that's what we have there and then i just used my pin to secure it down then you can see perfectly what we have after i was done ironing and everything and that is the zipper that is going to do then for the upper part i brought it again at this time i already ironed guys please sub support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying the video and if you have any question please do where to leave it in the comment box below which is the lining side and at this point now i'm going to be taking the circumference of my bust divide by two at this time now i'm not going to be including any allowance any anything apart from the main measurement just the circumference of my waist by two i marked it and i connected the two points together then i placed the front of the fabric i placed it with the back and i connected it using the line i already have and you can see exactly what i have this is when i just removed the pin i used to secure the back zipper together then now let's go to the hip uh, the peplum part and now this is the lining i cut out i'm going to take the lining now and just use and on the main fabric the exactly the way you see placed like this i will join it together then this is optional use a paper stain to ensure your fabric is well standing but i only use the paper stain for the bigger part of the peplum so that's why you can see the bigger part is a bit strong at this point now i've not yet ironed and i'm going to iron when i'm done ironing everything is going to be very smooth and structured then for the small part of the peplum this is what i have after i was done turning with lining and the small part i didn't use paper stay on it then i'm just arranging it on the bigger part of the peplum that is the flay and i'm just putting gathers gathers the way i want it to be i went ahead to secure it with pin and i took it to the stitching machine and stitch it together you can notice that i didn't start the small parts at the edge of the bigger parts yes this is just what i want i don't want the two mouths to be equal so you can decide to make yours like that or so make it start the same way and this is what i have guys after i was done ironing and stitching everything together at this point now i'm going to be connecting it together with the main body of the blouse and now this is how it's going to be after i'm done but before i could achieve this i have to turn it making the right side face the right side exactly the way you are seeing me doing it now and i'll go ahead and stitch it then when i flip it it's going to be closed and we'll be having a perfect blouse and guys this is what i have after i was done joining it together closing it up on the waist and fixing my zipper this zipper is a kind of jacket zipper that you can zip open straight and you can see exactly what we have now and now at this point the sleeve is no long is no is not here and you can see the peplum everything you can see how the back the down the bigger length of the peplum is standing because of the stain i added on it then we are going to go ahead and fix our sleeve and this is the sleeve i just close it up the mouth i close it up with a piece of fabric of the smakara fabric i closed it up and i stop stitch it and this is what i have now and then i folded it back so that i will get that ammo part very well which i'm going to be connecting together with the ammo of the blouse and guys this is exactly how i'm going to be connecting it remember the ammo on the on the sleeve is going to be connected to the ammo of the blouse i'll do for both sides you can see perfectly now this is what i'm going to do and guys then there's a little calculation to do here so that you avoid the off shoulder falling off the shoulder <laughs> so guys one when you are taking your measurements you can as well take the full measurements the round measurement of the person you are making dress for and this is going to guide you on how wide the neck is going to be so when i took the measurement is that it was about 35 now at this point i just measure what i have for the front and the back the upper parts 
then when i measure the remaining i divided it into two because i have two sleeves that i'm going to be connecting together then i divided by two i use one part for one sleeve the other part for one sleeve so for one sleeve i have about eight inches so i follow that and i connected the sleeve to the shoulder so it's it's necessary for to just get the round sleeve shoulder measurements because it differs some are wide some are not that wide so if you measure it very well and you ask the person how you how off you want it to be some doesn't really like their off shoulder being too off it's going to guide you on how to fix the sleeve and guys this is the final product you can see everything we have please don't forget to like the video see you in my next video bye